My name's Conrad Steiner. I'm a doctor of medicine. Tonight's story has the title, Never Come Sunday. Guardian of birth, healer of the sick, comforter of the aged. To the profession of medicine, to the men and women who labor in its cause, this story is dedicated. Medic, a presentation of the Dow Chemical Company. Producer of chemicals for industry and agriculture. Magnesium, the lightweight metal from the sea, and plastics you use every day in your home. This is a very special package. It not only contains the world's most useful wrap, the package itself was designed to give you an almost automatic dispenser for saran wrap. First, punch out this tab. Then, free the cutting edge as you remove the second tab on the W. Be sure to read the instructions on the inside flap. Then, remove the roll from the box. Loosen the saran wrap at the embossed edge. Unroll a short length like this. Then, be sure to put the roll back in the box so that it unwinds from the bottom and replace the cover inside. Now, pull out the length of saran wrap you need. Grasp the corner and tear down slowly and diagonally from the outer edge. Next time, you'll find the end of your saran wrap easy to get at through this tab and ready to save you time and work. And here's a perfect example, packing your family picnic. With saran wrap, you can fix everything way ahead of time, at your leisure. You can bake a casserole or a cake in the cool of the evening, and moisture-proof saran wrap will keep them oven fresh for days. And with saran wrap, you can bring all kinds of special foods on your picnic. Steak or chicken wrapped with your favorite barbecue sauce, even shrimp nested in cracked ice will stay fresh and can't drip or spill through a moisture-proof saran wrap cover. Whatever you pack, there's no fuss, no muss, because saran wrap clings by itself, forming a neat, easy-to-see-through package. In no time at all, you're ready to go with a variety of foods to satisfy every member of the family. And you'll be able to enjoy your own picnic Thanks to Saran Wrap, the world's most useful wrap. Saran Wrap is sold throughout the United States and Canada. Our presentation tonight, the field of mental retardation. The object in point, a child's nursery rhyme. The case in point, Laurie Kathleen Ramsey. She's 11 years old. She has two brothers, ages 8 and 13. Her father's a successful concert pianist her mother was a prominent literary agent before she was married. Six years ago, the Ramseys were considered an ideal family, happy, contented, devoted to one another. Then one day, Laurie fell from a swing in the backyard of their home. From that day on, the members of her family have stood on the edge of disaster and despair. Sunday's the day, me and my true love. Gaily pursue love, Sunday's the day. We walk hand in hand to the meadow. We tiptoe our way through the lane. Isn't it pretty, Mama? The same words as my poem. Daddy wrote it just for me. Isn't it pretty?
Very pretty, sweetheart. Pretty? We have the ballad of the century. Isn't that right, Miss Ramsey? That sounds funny. Who's Miss Ramsey? Who's Miss Ramsey? You, little girl. That's time you're back in bed. You've got a lot to do tomorrow. Come on. Get upstairs. Daddy, can't we sing it again? It's my poem. We'll sing it all together. Fine, but not right now. All right, Daddy? Better run along, Ladybird. Fly away home. I'll run up to bed now. Well, how about you flying up to bed, too, Mr. Ramsey? What's with Jeff and Danny? They get home at a decent hour? About 10.30. I wish they'd stop running around so much. Stay away. Why don't they spend more time at home? I don't know. Why don't you? How'd the concert go? Did you have a good audience? Very large. They love me. Pelted you with roses, did they? Thought they'd never let me go. At least four standing ovations. Seemed to go on for hours. Apparently it went on for hours. Well, we stopped by Victor's for something to eat. and I started playing the piano. And all of a sudden, I got the idea for this tune. What about Laurie? You taking her downtown again tomorrow? Mm-hmm. 11.30 this morning, Board of Education. I don't want any more of that, Stell. I've, I've told you a dozen times. I know you have. You never learn, do you? Well, it's different this time. They've got some new tests. I'm sure she'll make it this time. Anyway, she's improved a lot. I can see it, can't you? When will it come? Never come Sunday. Now, that was six years ago, wasn't it? The last thing she ever learned. Now, when are you going to face it, Stell? I love Laurie as much as you do, but she just hasn't got it. She'll never have it. The sooner you accept that, the better it's going to be for all of us. I'll never accept it. Laurie's normal. I don't care what anyone says. Still playing games, Stell. Lori's not normal. She'll never be normal. The mind of a five-year-old, and she isn't going to get any better. Why try to force her to be something she'll never be? Let the poor kid alone. I will not leave her alone. She's my daughter. She's as normal as any of the rest of the kids, and I'm going to prove it to you and everyone else. Do you understand? Sure, Stell. You'll prove it. You'll ruin your life and the life of everyone around you, but... You'll prove it. You bet I will. Without your help. Not that I've ever had it. Nobody's as close to Lori as I am. No one knows her like I do. Not you or the doctor or anyone else. She's going to get over this thing, no matter what it takes. For the last time, Stell, don't do it. You'll only make her worse and kill yourself in the bargain. Lori's place is right here with us, in this house. Not out there. There's no place for her out there. They don't understand. She'll get hurt out there. You've got to keep her here with us. Watch her. Keep her close. Protect her. Like a freak? Is that what you mean? Something we have to hide? cover up, something to be ashamed of. I could never be ashamed of Laurie, but I'm beginning to be a little bit ashamed of you. Hi, Mom. 
want. I've been downtown with Mama. Jeff, can I play records? Can I play records, too? Let me play records with you, Jeff. Not now, Lori. Maybe a little later. Come on, let's go up to my room. You take the records, Danny. Jeff, can't I play records, too? Why can't I play records, too? Not now, honey. Come on, let's go. Jeff, I want to play records. Why can't I play records, too? Mom? What happened? Nothing. Didn't she get by? Mm -hmm. Jeff, would you get the phone book and look up Dr. Steiner's number? Yeah. All right, Mom. This is my poem. My daddy made up music to go with it. I said my poem for you the last time I was here, didn't I? Laura, you have a wonderful memory. And I said it once for you when you came to our house, didn't I? Right again. Now, would you like to go out in the other room with Miss Anderson? I think she has a surprise for you. A surprise? What is it, Miss Anderson? Miss Anderson, what is it? Doctor, what do you think? Her physical condition's good. Very good. Heart and lungs are fine. She's putting on a little more weight. I don't mean that. I mean her mental condition. It is improving, isn't it? I don't mean to be pessimistic, Mrs. Ramsey. As far as I can see, there's been no change. Laurie's basic mental problem is the same as it was the last time I examined her. Well, I can't believe it. I don't think she's the same. I think she's changed. And Mrs. Ramsey, as you know, I'm not an expert in this particular field. You can call Dr. Ames and make another appointment for you, if you like. I forgot to mention it. We went back to see Dr. Ames last month. He said the same thing. Mrs. Ramsey, in all good conscience, I have to tell you again, we've done everything possible to obtain an honest, accurate diagnosis of Laurie's condition. When she fell from that swing, struck her head on the pavement, she suffered injuries to certain vital centers in the brain. Remember, that was six years ago. Since that time, as you know, we've run numerous studies on Lori. X-rays, angiograms, electroencephalograms, neurological studies. They indicated permanent brain damage. Nothing can be done for her. Put her away, is that what you're trying to say? All I'm trying to say is accept your child as she is, not as you'd like her to be. Lori can be helped. There's quite a bit can be done for her. Mrs. Ramsey, I wish you'd reconsider the idea I first suggested a few years ago. I mean, special schooling for Lori, special training. You mean the school out at Long Ridge? You want me to send her out there? All those children. Palsy, mongoloids. She isn't in the same class with them. Her case is altogether different. She's exceptional. That's exactly what they call it now, Mrs. Ramsey. The Long Ridge Community School for Exceptional Children. Can't class her with those poor children. She's nothing like them. Face it, Mrs. Ramsey. She is. And you know it as well as I do. Don't fight the impossible. Your little girl is mentally retarded. I don't believe you. Lori's mind's going to be normal. She's going to be all right. Please, Mrs. Ramsey, accept it. Try to understand. She's my baby. I'll find a doctor somewhere. 
I'll get help from somebody. Lori's gonna be all right. She's gonna be all right. kiss you goodbye. I came to kiss you goodbye. You going on another trip? Seems I never see you anymore, Ladybird. We're going in an airplane again, me and Mama. We're gonna fly. Already, Laura? Already, Mama. Kiss goodbye, baby. Goodbye, Daddy. Goodbye. Come on, Mom. It's time to go. Time to go. You go out in the porch and wait for the taxi, will you? Should be here in a minute. You tell me when it comes, hmm? All right, Mama. I'll watch. I'll tell you when it comes. I'll tell you when the taxi comes. How long is it going to be this time? It all depends on Dr. Belmont, whatever he says. I hate to be realistic, Stell, but have you taken a good look at our bank balance lately? I don't like it any more than you do. I know how much we've spent. This time, I'm sure about it. Dr. Belmont's the man to treat Lori. I can tell from his letters. I'm positive he can cure her. Sure, Stell. He'll cure Lori. Old Belmont, doctor of nature, the miracle medical man. He'll cure Lori. Have a nice trip. Mrs. Ramsey, it's my honest opinion that your child qualifies for our electrocerebral therapy course of treatments. My uh, only regret is that you didn't see fit to consult me sooner than you did. That won't hurt Lori's chances, will it? You can still do something for her. Fortunately, yes. As a doctor of nature, I'm convinced we can cure her completely. It may take a few weeks more than is usually found necessary in cases of this type. Is that agreeable with you, Mrs. Ramsey? Of course, Doctor. Could you tell me how much the fee will amount to? Well, Mrs. Ramsey, let me assure you the charge will be both reasonable and just for the service rendered. My fee shouldn't run to more than 2000 possibly $2,500. Don't you consider that fair, Mrs. Ramsey? Well, yes, I suppose it is. All right, Doctor. Anything. As long as it helps Laurie. and five days, Mrs. Ramsey. Yes, Laurie's certainly shown a great deal of improvement since we started treatments. I don't think she'll encounter any trouble from here on in. She's responded admirably. It's wonderful, Doctor. Just wonderful. I knew she was improving all along. Mama! Oh, baby! Missed you so much? You had fun? 
How are you? Just fine, Mama. Just fine. I'm fine. Now, how about our surprise for Mother, Lori? Surprise? Yes, our special surprise. All the new things you've learned. You remember. Now tell your mother. Yes. I remember. Well? Lori? I remember. When will it come? Never come sun. They never come sun. They when will it come? Twiddle my thumb. It's only man. They never come sun. They when will it come? Come. And that's just about it, Doctor. We finally reached the end of the line. We've got to make a decision, so we ask you to come by tonight. Well, I appreciate your confidence, Mr. Ramsey, but I can only offer my advice. The final decision is up to you. Six years. All went for nothing. Didn't mean a thing. Oh, no. Come on, honey. Doctor, what's your idea about this school out at Long Ridge? You think that might be the answer? Well, it's hard to say, Mr. Ramsey. It's one solution, and I think it's a good one. But there's one thing you have to understand. In a case such as this, there's no simple overall formula that we can apply to every child or every family. Each case is strictly individual. Well, what's the best thing for Laurie now? Well, first of all, accept her as she is and not as you'd like her to be. Accept her fully, completely. Don't smother her with protection so that she can't achieve what she's capable of achieving. Don't close her in a back room. And don't ever be ashamed of her. Understand? I guess I went to one extreme and Stella went to the other. Laurie was lost somewhere in between. What's your opinion, Doctor? What would you advise? Well, taking everything into account, I think the Long Ridge School would do a lot of good for Lori. Besides the specialized training and the therapy, I think she'd get something that she needs desperately. Companionship. Other children to play with. Children like her. Children she can be happy with. Dr. Stein. Do you think we should send her there to live? In Laurie's case, yes. I'd recommend it for a while, at least. Well, could we drive out to the school and have a look around? I'll call and make the arrangements any time you say. I better be going now. You two talk it over and let me know. Whatever you decide. All right, Doctor, we will. I'll walk to the door with you. It's all right, I know the way. Good night. Would you like to drive out to the school tomorrow, Stell? Stell, what do you think? Stell. sweetheart. I'll be out to see you day after tomorrow. You'll like it out there, Daddy. You didn't see the ducks and chickens when you were out there. They've got ducks and chickens, and I know two little girls are ready. One's Linda, and one's Barbara, and they're going to be my very best friends, aren't they, Mommy? Oh, you'll have lots of friends, baby. I wish you were coming, Daddy. Are you really going to play my song? That's right. 
special afternoon concert. You're going to play my song, and I won't be there. I won't hear it. Well, uh, I'll tell you what. We'll have a special private performance just for you, right now. Come on. Madam Ramsey, Miss Ramsey, if you'll be seated, please. All right. The concert begins. picnics are always fun until cleanup time and even cleaning up can be easy when you take along an extra roll of saran wrap with this moisture proof food wrap you can save all your picnic leftovers and they'll still be fresh and tasty for lunches and snacks you can use tough saran wrap for wrapping ketchup and mustard bottles too that way nothing can smear your clothes or car on the way home Indispensable saran wrap also solves the problem of wet bathing suits. Just wrap them in this moisture-proof wrap and throw them in the car. And if someone should catch a fish that must be brought home, wrap it in saran wrap and that fishy odor will never escape. Next time you go on a picnic, be sure to take along an extra box of saran wrap, the world's most useful wrap. 